you guys smell that too? It's the smell of a crisp fall morning. We're gonna take the kayaks out and do some squirrel hunting and possibly some crappie fishing. It's gonna be a fun day. We got Master plan. Justin and Adam. We came up with this plan yesterday. Adam and I squirrel hunted. I didn't film. I took the day to just kinda take a break, have some fun. Get in the woods, shoot a couple squirrels. We did shoot two, which is the best squirrel hunt Adam and I have ever had. So hopefully we can match that or do better today. We found this spot last year and we're like, wow, there's a lot of oak trees around here, lots of acorns, lots of squirrel food, lots of squirrel nests. But yesterday was our first successful squirrel hunt. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna get in the kayaks and paddle out to that part of the lake. That's a very hard part to access without a boat. Like, there's no way, I mean, there is a way you can get there by foot, but it would take a long time and you'd have to go through a lot of trees and brush. So we're gonna try and cut that trip down and get out to possibly an untouched area with the kayaks. So I've got the quack yak. Justin's got the old duck discovery, discovery 119. I haven't shown you guys that on video in a while. It's a perfect use for that little boat. So got the top water, the discovery. Adam's over there with his, uh, what is that, 12 teeth ascend. He bought a kayak blind for it before he got the boat. They were on back order. <laughs> it was on back order. It came like a week later. And um, it's still in the box. And that, what was that, two years ago? Yeah, probably. So if anybody wants to pay a premium price for something you cannot get at a store, Adam's got it. Just name your price down in the comments. If you're looking for a kayak blind, he might be willing to sell you one. It's going to be a fun day. Just got to get out in the water and... Hopefully, we'll see a few squirrels on the other side of the lake. Time for the fun part. Ah, I always gotta kick yourself off the bank a little bit. Pretty shallow. My seat all wet. I don't like to get in. Hmm. Poor guy. Huh? Poor guy. I'll be okay. Dude, doing this makes me feel like we're up in like Minnesota or something. <laughs> Just like some exotic place. Having to like canoe to get to a spot. But no, we're just in Kansas. Which way do we go? Looks like there's a trail here and hopefully this doesn't just have a trail here. Take us to the top and then drops off to the other side. It doesn't. It's kind of a gradual, I think if I remember correctly. Have you been up here or did you just look at the topo? No, I've been on the other side in the kayak. Seeing more oak leaves already. Like there's an oak tree right here. This is interesting. It's like there's just one game trail. Uh -huh. I'd say if we just stick to the top of the ridge, that'd be our best option. There he goes. There's a squirrel. I swear I heard him. He went right over here. to a great start so far. We've seen one, he got away. But we're sitting down here, Adam's over there checking all that out. I'm sitting here watching where this squirrel might have gone. Hopefully he comes out and shows himself. But getting up to the top of this hill, like it's basically like one giant hill that goes up. You get about 40 yards of flat top and then go back down. So up here on the top of this ridge, there's a lot of oak trees, it's a little more open. It's a great squirrel hunting area. And uh, seen a squirrel already. Tons of acorns, big oak trees. 
everything a squirrel hunter could ask for. So hopefully we can find that one and pop him. I wasn't expecting to see one that quickly. It's always a plus. I'm excited to see how this day goes because it could, it could go pretty well. I'm so happy I put this in my bag. Dude, it was the Jamaican jerk teal. I got enough to wipe you clean about 30 times. I have like half a roll in here. Really? I just rolled it all up and it in the bag and pushed all the air out. So we got a couple squirrel nests here. I'm kind of curious to just go down there and check everything out. There he goes. Where's Justin? You get him? Did you get him? I heard something fall there. Something hit the ground. Where did he run off to? I don't know. He was running right here and then I lost him by the street. Was he running hard? Uh, not really. I was walking. He was definitely going to hit him twice. He's got to be down somewhere. What? He's in the tree. Just grab him. I don't want him to bite me. Just go quick. That's how you kill a squirrel. Dude, that's a nice one. Mm -hmm. He's a little, little young guy. It's a she. Try that one. You definitely shot that thing. I shot it everywhere. As soon as I saw that. You see him? Hole. Like right away? Or did you hear us fumbling around? No, I heard he was up above me and I saw him jump in the tree and run behind Adam. So I looped around and found an open area and shot him. Not skunked. Might have been what do we got? Earlier. Four apiece is what we need? Five. Five apiece. One down. 14 to go. That probably won't happen. But um, I was looking on Onyx and there is a lot of areas that we can go. So I don't know if we want to push all the way to the end of that point or do we want to turn around and go that way? I think we need to go that way. Cause like looking on the topo, like we're pretty much as high as we can get but on the it like goes down and then comes back up and there's another ridge and it's a little bit more open so we can definitely try that but man we can take the kayaks down a ways another day i mean there's there's a lot of areas out here so onyx is pretty useful for that i really like using the topo stuff for this because we figured out the more open areas with the oak trees are on the higher elevations so kind of gives us an idea of where to go. Let's go find some more squirrels.
There's enough there for Why'd you get blood on my new shirt? Well, out here doing a little R and R session. Just ate some lunch. Adam brought his jet boil and we had some mountain house meals. But here's our squirrel for the day. He's he's tiny. It's a boy. It is a boy. Oh, I got more blood on my new shirt. <laughs> so we got a squirrel. We saw four. We saw four squirrels. I think we picked a bad spot. We were looking on, on maps, and uh, I think over there is a better option. But we're going to have to do that another day. It's getting pretty warm, and we've got some fishing gear with us. So we're going to go take the squirrel, clean him, put him in the cooler, and maybe go and catch a few fish before we have to leave for the day. But, hey, that was fun. That was a lot of fun. Adam? Yeah. Was that fun? Yeah. You want to do it again? But I don't want to go down there. Where? You want to go down there? That's the spot. I there. think that is the spot. There's so many, so many acorns on the ground out here. It's ridiculous. This is probably the best public land spot for squirrels I've ever found. And Adam, Adam and I found it last year just on a whim. It's like, oh, hey, let's look at that. Wow, that looks really good. But time to go clean the squirrel and catch some fish. I haven't been fishing since like April and uh, I believe this is actually the last place I fished so we'll give this a go maybe we'll find a few crappie to catch there's a brush pile down this way that I caught a bunch on in the spring I've never really spent much time fishing in the fall so we'll see what happens maybe we'll catch one or two. Oh, you get one No. What do you want to do with them? I'm in Justin's boat. They what? They can't flop out of his boat. Ooh, that one's pretty good. That's a slant. I told you I caught him on this thing all the time. But that's a good, that's a good one. I know. That's a serious slant right there. Yeah. Justin's gonna be too busy pedaling to get our fish to catch this one. Well, we're getting things packed up here. Got the boats cleared out. Gonna get them in the truck. What a fun day! Getting out, doing some squirrel hunting. Ended up getting one, and. Uh, caught a couple crappies so if we were living off the land we would have a good meal this evening so all in all i'm really happy with today it was fun to get out do some walking through the trees finding some squirrels hopefully next time we go out squirrel hunting we'll find some more of them i think the next spot we'll hit up is definitely going to be better than what we went to today if you guys liked this video make sure to leave me a thumbs up and hit that subscribe button if you have not already it means a lot when you guys do that and uh, I hope you guys enjoyed today's video and I will catch you on the next one.